Hello, and Rand here. We're playing Farming Simulator 17 on Missouri, Mississippi, Ohio River Basin map, where the uh, course play Corn 2. Yes, Corn 2 harvest continues. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what course play is doing here. I guess it's called harvesting. What? Do, what? Where are you at here? Uh, so far, I've only had to fix course play once here so far. One of the combines. Got uh, stuck in the trees over there. Yes, the trees over there. I was mentioning that there last episode. You know, there's not very many uh, trees on this map that have a collision on them. Those over there do. And yeah, of course, we found them. Go figure, right? Wow, that that was that was a weird turn. What in the world? Uh, okay. Headland reverse maneuver straight. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, what, whatever. So anyway, pretty much uh, picking up where we left off here from last episode mostly. Uh, combines are still working on the headland here yet. Uh, if we switch to probably this view here, you can probably see it best how much we have done. Uh, I'm not sure what's up with over here, why it doesn't look like very much. But you can see we got a pretty wide swath here that's done. Uh, they're going around for their second time around the headland, and then they'll start going up and down it. Uh, if you're wondering what the course looks like, there's what the course looks like. You can see where this combine is at in the course. And then they'll, they'll start going up and down the course here. And again, I decided to go this way on the field as opposed to up and down. Thought that might work a little bit more reliably. Uh, given the uh, kind of the odd shape of this field, you know, again, if you look at the map here, it doesn't look like it's that bad. But there's actually some missing sections here that are not shown on the map, like up in this corner and then this section here. Uh, this the the picture on the map here is not actually properly done. It doesn't actually reflect the actual real shape of that field. So, oh well. Uh, out of curiosity, how are we looking here? Uh, got a hundred thousand in there. I guess that means the truck's keeping up. Yeah, it's all that corn, too. Yeah, it looks like we do have a couple. Uh, so far, of course, we've actually been doing pretty good at keeping up. Um, I haven't had two or really seen that many full combines. I mean, obviously, they are full every now and then, but it doesn't seem like it's actually too bad. It looks like we actually might have an issue over here. Tap to it here. Yeah, not really so much an issue. He's just waiting for the combine to get out of the way. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, surprisingly so far, I have not had to fix course play yet, other than the little incident there with the uh, trees. I think that goes to show, too, you know, a little bit bigger field here makes a little bit of a difference on how much trouble you have. And of course, I might jinx myself in saying that here. I guess we'll find out, but. Oh, of course, but you missed a little bit here, didn't you? Interesting. That's kind of weird. Like a like a slice of it there. Weird. And then same thing here. Okay. Eh, whatever. I wonder if maybe just because it was a little... Nah, it doesn't really look that hilly here. Oh, well, whatever. That's quite the train tracks there. Like an invisible object here, too. Oh, what is this? Okay, field. And see the number on this field here, but yeah, we have not gone over to this side of the map here yet, and I don't know that we necessarily will either. You know, I guess if uh, other trees, yeah, there's trees between these fields. If we got rid of the trees between the fields, we could combine all these fields up, couldn't we? 23, 22, 21, and 20. I don't know that we want to get that carried away, though. We already got 19, 24, and 25 here, which probably needs to be fertilized again, doesn't it? Hey, you're upright. All right. Thought I'd uh, driven you off the field. I probably did. He probably managed to somersault himself back onto the field here again.
These uh, DB120 planners have issues with uh, folding up and reloading the save game. if I leave it disconnected from the tractor that might help it'll probably still have the issue yet but at least then the tractor won't go flying with it and there should be one more challenger on the field here as well yet or somewhere around oh we're spinning here no, we're upside right, though. That's always a good sign. Now, we do need to get some uh, fertilizer on this field here yet as well. Get this off the field here, and we'll uh, do that next here. And I was asking this a couple episodes back, but I'll ask it again here as well. Uh, if there's anything you folks would like to see us try here on this map, especially involving uh, course play or anything like that, let me know. We'll uh, see once if we can incorporate it here. You know, as I said when I started this map here, the goal with this one is to go large scale here. So again, lots of course play, lots of hired workers, lots of extra derpiness from course play. Is in traffic. Interesting. No idea which one that one is. Oh, wait. He went. Nope. No, he is there yet. Oh, no. He went away. Nope. He's back. <laughs> I guess he can't make up his mind. Might be as simple, uh, as, simple as grain cart driving in front of him or something like that. Like I said, I don't want to jinx myself here by saying course play is working well, but uh, course play is actually working quite well. As the whole screen suddenly fills up with course plays in traffic or slipping error messages, right? So maybe I'll just leave him here. I don't know the next field we need to plant here, so no sense driving over to the other end of the field here to need him over there next. So, oh, your traffic. Oh, wait. Uh, well, he's, yeah, that's probably going to be a problem. You're off the field. I set two of the tractors there to search on the field last episode. I didn't set them all, though. So, yeah, you're one of the ones I didn't set. So, if we just set you to field 18 here again, you should be good. Hopefully. So, yeah, these trees don't have collisions on them. Oh, good. You did sort yourself out. Perfect. Wait, are you still doing the first headland yet? I thought we were done with the first headland. I guess we got a couple combines going around for the first headland here yet. I thought that was done. I guess not. Wow, it's taking them a long time to get around the first headland here then. Uh, course play estimates about 40 minutes here for this course, by the way. Uh, and again, as I've said, that is very accurate. But... That's only very accurate if the combines keep moving, which uh, obviously is not usually happening all the time here. Yeah, it's Axial Flow 9230. The problem with using all the same combines here, I have no idea what Axial Flow. Um, in fact, is, is there even a combine over this way? Yeah, I guess there is. Pathfinder will deactivate that. I don't know if you just seen the message there, but it said pipe was over crops. Which is probably true. 
but that means uh, course play is not going to be very prompt about unloading, and that is something I do not want with this. I want course play to be very prompt about unloading these combines. Otherwise, you end up with a situation like this where everybody's jammed up here. Uh, you have a tractor coming, and no, he does not. Okay. No tractor coming to unload that combine yet, I don't believe. Uh, otherwise, it should say there, as far as I know. Yeah, right there it says, you know, driver 8R. You know, same here as well. Driver, 8R. Wow, I don't know what's up with some of these turn maneuvers from some of these combines here. But oh my goodness. No combine in reach, huh? There's a couple of them right over there, you know. Oh, I think we got one going to unload that one, looks like. And we got one that found the uh, trees down here again. Oh, wow. Again, there's not very many trees with collisions on this map. In fact, there's not even that many trees here. And course play has found them three times now? Four times? Three, three or four times now, course play has managed to crash into these trees. And those of you wondering why I don't want to update to the... Uh, version of the map with trees with collisions on them yeah there's your reason four times now or three times now i don't remember three or four times course play has already managed to find those trees okay i guess pathfinding is deactivated on all those i don't know why the one combine had pathfinding activated on it yet but Oh, that's kind of cool. Getting uh, two of them almost harvesting neck and neck there. Don't know how he got over there, though. I'm kind of curious. Which he must be on the other headland there, I would assume. Why can I not see the course here? It's showing. Oh, I'm in the track. That's why I'm not in the combine. Right. There we go. Now I should be able to see it if I turn uh, turn this on. Right. Uh, I'm actually not sure what course he's on there, to be honest. Yeah, he must be on the other headland here. That would make sense, I would think. Yes, four to the right, so that would be the first combine. That's probably, like, two to the left there. Oh, you found the fence and the trees. Good job, course play. Yay. Anyway, where is that sprayer? We need to get uh, the sprayer going. We'll probably set up a, a course play course for this, by the way. Just because of how that uh, field is fertilized. Again, if we go look here. Yeah, this is what happens when you let a hired worker fertilize your field. Oh, my goodness. I mean, like, what in the world? Oh, boy. What did the hired worker do? I mean, some of this doesn't even make sense. I mean, okay, down here, yeah, you probably stop for some odd reason. Who knows what, you know, like the hired workers do. But then, like, what happened here? And well, what happened here? And... <laughs> Over here, and actually, some of these were actually, I think, down the middle here. These were actually all missing too, and I actually went back and did them myself. So yeah, the uh, course I don't know what uh, it was. Actually, that was course, but that was hired worker. Don't know what the hired worker was doing, but oh my. Okay, so we probably don't have a field edge path for this. Actually, we probably do. Uh, Nineteen. We'll call this. Well, 19? 
I don't know what we want to call this one here. We'll just override it. So field edge path number 19 here. Uh, starting corner, let's just do the current location here. Automatic, uh, so yeah, that, that should all be good. Uh, let's do one headland. Generate that. Take a moment to generate that, isn't it? Again, with these bigger courses here. And as I was mentioning here a couple episodes back, too, that really affects your load time. So again, for those of you wondering you know, why I'm not creating more of these type of course play courses, it's because of the load time. So field 18, no 19, 36 meter uh, spray. And uh, speaking of watch, now that field 18 is done, uh, did I not? I thought I had a course by course for that. I had course play working on that field, didn't I? Uh, overload. Thir oh, there it is. There it is. I'm going to trash that one. Again, these are simple enough to create. First waypoint drive course. Going to take one hour and 53 minutes to do that. If he actually... Oh, there he goes. Uh, I mean, can you imagine that? This is 36 meters wide. Uh, he goes 18 miles an hour. Actually, I wonder what speed he goes here with course play. Probably 14 miles an hour. Probably 14 miles an hour, and it's still going to take... Uh, hour... Yeah, hour and 53 minutes. Wow, good job, Corson. Where is this now? Other end of the field here. I don't know if the uh, collision detection there works with inanimate objects. Not that that uh, tractor is really inanimate objects either, but uh, with uh, non-vehicle objects. Uh, how are we looking over here? Yeah, the truck is still running. You're still running. And you are... Whoa, we might have to get another truck going here. Uh, speaking of other truck. You are still still selling cotton yet. Oh my goodness. Might have to buy another truck here. Oh uh, yeah, silage. Need to get this hauled to the cows here. I did check the uh, mixer there last episode. It wasn't out yet. So, like, there's no real hurry in uh, getting that filled up, I didn't think. Probably should check and see if the cows need anything else or not here. Yeah, they pretty much kind of getting low on everything there, aren't they? Uh, we still have not filled up the mixed rations for the cows yet, by the way. It goes up a little bit each time, but... As long as they don't run out, I'm not going to be too worried about it. Grab some grass here. Oh, oh, we'll go with straw first. That's fine. I have to be careful. Uh, make sure I don't drive past there. I'll pick up manure. Don't particularly want that. And then we'll grab a load of grass next. Or actually do it. Eh, maybe we should put some straw on for the cows there too. Maybe we should do that first here a minute. 
Oh, look out, snake. Uh, we still have plenty of straw here yet, so no hurry in uh, doing any sort of wheat crop or barley here anytime soon. Lots of straw left yet. I suppose we better go address this issue here a moment. Uh, who's all in traffic? You. Okay, it's probably your fault. Here again, too, I'd rather not move the combine because I don't entirely know where he's supposed to go. So, you know, better off moving the tractor and you can just tell him to drive course and he should do something. I, I don't know what. You as well. I'd rather move the tractor. Yeah, we're doing some crazy stuff on these headlands here. I don't know what is up with this. I've never quite seen turn maneuvers like this before. It's almost like course play is on purpose missing as much as possible here. I wonder if I just should set that... Uh, front. It says straight. I wonder if we should set it to curve instead. I mean, if you look over here, you miss the corner, obviously. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Oh, you're going to... Yeah, stop there. But then, yeah, you know, what, what is up with this here? This... <laughs> well, whatever, I guess. Really? Again? Is this the same one we just fixed? I'll bet you it is. Let's reach overload spot. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of damage here now. We probably caught it just at the point there where a couple of them unloaded. Uh, so far, I'm not really aware that we've filled the mother bin yet. At least not that I know of. Not that I've been paying you know, super careful attention to it here, but... Oh, and traffic again. Oh, guess what? Another grain cart. <laughs> okay, what is up with this turn over here? Like, for reals. Like, oh my goodness, what do you what did you do? Like, circle eights here? Figure eights? Like, loop and loop and, and another loop? Okay, then. I'm not sure about some of these uh, course play turn maneuvers here. Like I said, I know Corsplay has always been real good about missing stuff in the corners, but wow, these are turn maneuvers I haven't seen before. How much straw was that out of curiosity? Uh, it's going to need probably another two or three loads like that. Oh, can't quite back it out that far. Not that good backing up here. And we'll need grass as well. well. You know what? Grass, that is something I don't have a lot of, is it? That's something we'll probably have to work on next here pretty quick. Probably about just as quick here if I just drive out and around as opposed to trying to back up there.
Oh, and we got three combines full over there. Oh, the mother bin. Mother bin is full. The mother bin is. Oh, no, that's not the mother bin. Mother bin. There we go. Mother bin is full. This is the situation I want to avoid here. Because now I have uh, one tractor tied up. I can tell him to continue here. I think I'll just do that. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, that's what I want to avoid there. And that's so far, up until now, this mother bin has worked really, really good for that. So, since we got the truck tied up there, that means we need another truck. Uh, which ones do I have here again? Those? Yes. So, we'll yeah, we'll go number one here. I got the uh, maxed out engine main color. I think, was it that red or that red? Nope, not that. This one? I think it was that one. Uh, bumper, bull bar. Yeah, let's do the bull bar. Design color. Don't remember what I had for design color. We'll go with that. And... And the trailers. Get another trailer here. We'll just get the same of what we currently have here. No, it wasn't the Dakota one. It was the Tim T. Tim. Tim T. Trailer. So this will be the first time, I believe, in the game so far where we ran two trucks on the same course. Again, even for selling, uh, we haven't really done that. Okay, load up the course plate course here. This is field 18. Mother bin. Unload course there. And I'm just going to tell you to drive the course from here. And he should pick up the course and be good to go. And while he's doing that here too, let me uh, put these in a folder here. Field 31. Let's move you as well. So again, cleaning up the course. The course is there a little bit. And put you in a group, too, before I forget. Oh, and the mother bin's been unloaded already. So it's not like the mother bin stayed full for long there. Uh, how are we looking on straw? Yeah, so probably pretty close to the last load here. Maybe one more after that. Oh, and the water's going down, isn't it? Uh, we'll have to go uh, tell the water system to fill up there, too. Uh, do I have a tractor on that? I don't think I do, do I? Yeah, pretty much all we have to do is just attach a tractor to it, tell it to refill, and then it should be good for a while. Again, automated water system that is not exactly fully automated. Or even that, for that matter, it's not even in line, is it? What is up with that? Like, wow. I'm moved at some point. So I'll have to get a tractor on that to uh, realign that. Oh, that's a gate, right? Can't drive through the gates here. And drive through the fence, though. And I'm not using the gate, by the way, because we've had some derpy issues with it opening and closing. Again, I suspect the uh, update there, the last update to Farming Simulator, where it broke the gates, broke the gates on this map as well. And they're still derpy on this one, unfortunately. Oh, look at that. You found the trees again. Uh, traffic. Oh, another cat. Whoa, that's not really supposed to happen. Need somebody to unload this combine here. I 
Not sure who was doing what here. It looks like you were... You were going straight, weren't you? Probably. It's probably what happened. And then you are probably running on that line over there. Have to wait there for uh, course play to unload that combine here a minute. Oh, 26,000 for harvest income. Uh, does that mean we're out of cotton here then? No, we got one more load. Wow, the cotton price must have really took a... No, it's not that bad. Huh, I'm not sure why it's so low then. Oh, maybe we got it twice. Maybe that's what happened. Slight interruption in the selling there or something. Uh, straw. Do we need more straw yet? Uh, that looks like close enough. Let's uh, do a couple loads of grass here. Oh, you know what? It's actually time to wrap up the episode, too. Oh, I just looked at that. Wow. Seems like this episode went quick. Uh, grass. Oh, uh, I do not have any grass there. Okay. I am out of grass in the silo. I don't know if I have any more over here yet. And actually, I don't know if I really ever had any grass in that silo. That's got hay in it for the mixing station. Uh, for those of you who wonder why I have both types of rakes, which I guess the other rake's on the other field there, that is the reason why. The one rake there will make hay, and when I don't want hay, which in this case I don't, I have to use the other rake. Uh, we got 100,000 liters of grass in here yet. Not much, really. Oh, my goodness, really? This is exactly the situation I definitely want to try to avoid here. In fact, why are you that close? Combine convoy should prevent these two from getting this close, right? Exactly what I do not want to see happen is these combines this close. Why are you this close? Uh, combine convoy is activated. You are 405 meters from the next combine. Okay. Obviously, the next combine is not this one. You are 95 meters from the next com. What? 95? There There's no combine even close to you. Which one are you? One to the left. Yeah, you're, you're definitely... You're actually one to the right at the moment, but that probably is because of the symmetric lane change. Let's get this uh, sorted here a moment. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I see what you're doing there. I do not like that. Don't like it at all. Stop. Stupid combine. Like for reals. Called collision. Okay, let's just get you uh, sorted here a moment. Let you empty... Why are you not stopping now? What in the world? You are 108. Which one are you? Three to the left. If this one is two to the left, something is seriously wrong here. Yes, you are two to the left. You two should be detecting each other. No ands, buts, or ifs about that. These are companion combines. In fact, you, you, and you are going together. Why are you not listening to your... Uh, combine convoy mode here. It says it's 250. It is like zero. That makes no sense there. Something is uh, seriously wrong here at this point. It's 
It's like the uh, combine convoy option here is like shut off or something. It's no longer working. Because like I said, the, there's absolutely no reason these combines should be that close. I mean, these two, these are probably on the uh, first course there. In fact, uh, what are you, probably like two to the right or three to the right? Yeah, you're three to the right. That makes sense. Because these are coming up the other line there. But these, they should not be that close for no reason. These two probably shouldn't be this close either. Because you're probably four to the right. Oh, you know what? Yes. Okay, it makes sense for this one because this one's not running. So that's why he would have passed it. That makes perfect sense for these two. Still doesn't explain those three there. And again, tell him to go to current waypoint. So that should pick up where they left off. You definitely don't want to do next or closest because that'll pick up the one that's probably right here and they'll start doing the headland again. Anyway, on that note, well, went a little long here, so let's uh, wrap it up. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.